Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We've been having a number of people coming in with issues regarding their, their forearm. Uh, they're having pain uh, in, in this part of the forearm, which is, you know, in an anatomical uh, sense, it's the anterior portion of, of their forearm. And they're having pain specifically in through here. These are the, these are the wrist flexors. Uh, now these muscles in here allow you to take your wrist and do this. So these are the wrist flexors. And what happened, what we're finding with these folks is that they're getting tightness in through here because they're doing a lot of carrying. Uh, uh, they could be doing a lot of hammering. Um, anything that they're, where, where they're holding and doing wrist flexion for long periods of time. And uh, uh, the, all these wrist flexor muscles have a common insertion point right here. This little bony part. This is called the medial epicondyle of the humerus of the upper arm bone there's a little point right here and that is the medial so inside medial um, the inside portion of the upper arm bone the medial epicondyle of the humerus and they all insert here and they're getting tightness in here another name for this is also called golfer's elbow so uh, if, if on another video we have, uh, I, I do explain the difference between um, uh, the other part of the elbow on the lateral side, lateral epicondylized, which is tennis elbow. This is golfer's elbow. So people doing a lot of, the bowlers get a lot of this stuff because they're doing a lot of flexion, you know, in through here. Uh, pitchers, baseball, that type of stuff, they're getting problems in through here. Uh, moms carrying babies all day long, you know, kids all day long, and then getting tightness in through these wrist flexor uh, muscles. And again, there's that common insertion point, and again, tenderness, and sometimes even inflammation in through there. So, uh, we're seeing this a lot on these folks, and they're getting tightness and trigger points in through here, pain in the forearm, sometimes going up into the upper arm as well and sometimes even weakness uh, holding on to stuff, you know, they feel like they're going to drop stuff. So how do we fix that? Well, we do mobilization, we do some stretches into there. If you're always doing this, wrist flexion, we're gonna try and get to it to relax by doing the opposite in wrist extension. So, you're in here. So what you do is you have your wrist, yeah, this again, these are the wrist flexors, and we want to extend it to relax it. So you're going to be in this position here. So I usually tell folks, let me drop this down so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Drop this down like this, and you see my hand. I usually like to point my hand towards my, excuse me, my fingers towards me. And here you are. You're opening up the anterior portion of your forearm. See my fingers, this is forward, fingers forward. And now, my fingers are going to be pointing towards me, and I'm going to have a soft elbow here. You see this? My elbow isn't completely locked out like that. It's just a nice soft elbow. And you can oscillate between almost lockout and just a nice soft elbow in here. You don't want to lock it out all the way, but you want to keep a soft elbow. And you can oscillate back and forth between flexion and, um, and lockout right there. And then you can even lean backwards. Here, let me go sideways here. You can kind of see what I'm doing. So you go sideways here, and you can kind of see. And some folks, man, they're so tight in here. They're so tight in this anterior portion of the forearm, they might not be able to get back as far. Right now, this, is, this angle right here between my forearm and my hand is less than 90 degrees. Some folks, you know, they're in here, and this is a stretch for them. So again, you want to work this um, as, as tolerated. Uh, you don't want to sit here in agony and, and, and tear stuff. You just want to work in here three to five minutes to, to loosen these guys up. You can oscillate back and forth. And in this position here, so go back and forth. You can even go side to side a little bit. See that? Go side to side a little bit. And yeah, this kind of looks weird, you know, because again, my fingers are pointing towards me what it's looking like. So these my fingers pointing towards me here. And there you go. See that? I can kind of go back and forth. I can oscillate this way. I can even contract relax. So I can push my fingers, my, my hand into the floor. Contract a little bit, relax. Contract a little bit, relax. Again, I'm oscillating. Keep this soft elbow in through here. Now, 
we also see sometimes a stretch and mobilization through a stretch isn't enough. So then what we do is we pull out the good old handy dandy cross ball. And uh, what we do with the lacrosse ball, what we find is right here where these wrist flexor muscles kind of insert right in through here. It gets really nasty and junky in here, really tight, spasmy, and uh, even some trigger points. In other words, you push here and you can feel kind of pain shoot down the hand or up into the arm a little bit. So you take the lacrosse ball and you find some of these tender areas in through here, like right there, that's really tender for me. And you can just kind of hang out in here, search around, find those guys. When you find a good spot, just... Sorry, lost you guys there. <laughs> anyway, uh, what I was saying, you know, when you find a spot, uh, hang out in there for a little bit and oscillate back and forth on that. You can do some cross friction. See, back and forth. Let me see if you can see this here. So some cross friction, like right there, that's really tender for me. You can kind of feel it kind of sometimes go down to the pinky. Or you can kind of roll it towards your heart. I usually recommend, you know, when you're doing any kind of rolling or massaging, you want to roll towards the heart. As you can see there, I'm rolling. I'm rolling it towards the heart. See that? Right in there. Good stuff. Let's go this way so I can see more better. There we go. So again, I'm rolling this towards my heart. Now I'm going with the fibers, and then I can do cross friction. I can go against the fibers, so across, and go back and forth across, and kind of like strumming a guitar. You're strumming those fibers a little bit. And what you're essentially trying to do is, again, with the ball, what this does, see this here? What this does is when you push the ball into the tissue, the tissue bends across the ball and allows that, to, that tissue to stretch across it. Sometimes a regular stretch like this, you don't really get in there uh, deep enough to get a good stretch. You need something like this to get more pinpoint stretch in through those tight, spasmed out muscle tissue and fascia. And believe me, you, if you do a lot of activities that involve wrist flexion, the gliding surfaces between the skin, the fascia, and the muscle, sometimes they adhere to each other and they stick. And so that stickiness, you get less efficient contraction of that particular muscle group. So by adding the lacrosse ball, you get in there and you create, you can even take your wrist through extension. So you push into the muscle tissue, you find a spot, and then you go through wrist extension. Okay, right there. Wrist extension. You can put this also on a table. I'll pretend my knee is the table. You put that right on the table like this. Huh? Right? And then do wrist extension in through there. You can have a little overpressure here with your upper arm, push down while the ball is on the table, you do wrist extension on that spot. So then it increases the pliability and the gliding surfaces of those tissues, the skin, the fascia, and the muscle. So those are just some, a couple of easy ways to increase uh, pliability and mobility in through the forearm, decrease that pain in through there that a lot of these people are getting. So anyway, we pre uh, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. If you have any questions, drop them off in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, and share so that other people can benefit from this video as well. And when you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notifications button um, so that way you don't uh, miss any videos coming down here in the future. Again, we thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.